The former political wing of the Irish Republican Army, IRA, Sinn Féin, has called for a two-power-sharing administration to be set up quickly after the Democratic Unionist Party, DUP, refused to jointly govern until post-Brexit trading rules were overhauled. The head of the party in the region, Michelle O'Neill, told a news conference that brinkmanship will not be tolerated where the north of Ireland becomes collateral damage in a game of chicken with the European Commission. Sinn Féin overtook the DUP to win the most seats at elections to the region's devolved assembly at the weekend, the first time a party seeking to leave the United Kingdom came out on top. Today I have met, we have met with the British Secretary of State, I've spoken with the Taoiseach, I'll be engaging with other party leaders and my message is clear. As Democrats, the DUP but also the British government must accept the, and respect the democratic outcome of this election. Brinkmanship will not be tolerated where the north of Ireland becomes collateral damage in a game of chicken with the European Commission. The responsibility for finding solutions to the protocol to make its smooth implementation lie with Boris Johnson and the EU. But make no mistake, we and our business community here will not be held to ransom. This means that applying the Good Friday Agreement in all of its parts, an Assembly Executive, North-South Ministerial Council and an East-West structure without delay and no further interruption. So the election is over and we have the results and it has been a, a historic election. We have for the first time a nationalist, a Republican First Minister uh, elected in the person of Michelle O'Neill. And the job now is to get to work. We need to see the immediate formation of an executive, Michelle O'Neill ratified as First Minister. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.